Truckers and trucking companies in the U.S. are sounding the alarm about a severe freight recession that surpasses the 2008 crisis. With retail sales plummeting and manufacturing and import activity slowing down due to decreased consumer demand, the road transport industry is experiencing a significant decline. Orders have been slashed in half leading to a sharp decline in cargo volumes nationwide. Industry CEOs have used the term collapse to describe the drastic drop in freight rates, putting many trucking companies on the brink of bankruptcy. The Western States Trucking Association warns that the downturn in the fruit market is just the beginning of a more distressing situation about to unfold in America. Two years after the consumer demand boom fueled by stimulus checks, disrupted supply chains and congestion U.S. ports, the freight demand is now witnessing a sharp decline, according to industry leaders. Trucking companies, both independent drivers and large carriers, are witnessing a significant reversal in demand compared to the level seen in 2021. During the health crisis, when people were confined to their homes and online shopping surged, the freight market experienced a booming phase. Rates skyrocketed, with some areas witnessing increases of up to 500%. However, the momentum started to wane in 2022, and since then, per-mile rates have been plunging at an unprecedented rate. By November, prices were nearing pre-pandemic levels, indicating a significant downturn. The freight market is known for its volatility, with hot markets suddenly turning ice cold. The current downturn can be attributed in part to the rapid monetary tightening implemented by the federal government and central bankers following the flood of liquidity into the economy. Craig Fuller, CEO at FreightWaves, highlighted this in a report, emphasizing the impact of such actions. Decades of deregulation and unfavorable working conditions have also contributed to the challenges faced by the trucking industry. What was once a stable and well-paying job in long-haul trucking in the 1970s has transformed into a profession plagued with difficulties. The shortage of 100,000 truckers at the onset of the health emergency prompted many newcomers to join the industry, attracted by the record-high freight rates. However, today, instead of a shortage, the market is saturated with thousands of small-scale owner-operators and carriers of all sizes. Rachel Premack, an analyst at FreightWaves, noted the initial talk of a truck driver shortage that enticed people to enter the industry with hopes of quick profits. However, the surge in participants eventually led to an inevitable decline in rates. According to Bloomberg, some drivers may have earned substantial incomes reaching up to $400,000 during the boom period. Over 18 months, the number of trucks on the road multiplied as drivers chased the hyper-mile rates of 2021, and large companies expanded their operations to capture a larger market share. Unfortunately, the threat of a deep recession has now dampened the demand for goods, resulting in a sharp decline in cargo volumes across the United States. One significant indicator of this shift is the shrinking tender rejection rate. Similar to airlines, individual drivers and carriers often overbook their loads and reject job offers when the market is challenging. However, data shows that tender rejections have fallen to even lower levels than during the pandemic, signaling a decrease in demand. Furthermore, the per-mile rate has declined from the peak of the 2021 boom, dropping by 52% to $1.49. This downward trend in freight rates could continue in the coming months. Consequently, there is less profit to be made in the sector. For those who invested heavily to enter the industry and capitalize on the boom, this could be just the beginning of a financial disaster. Bankruptcies have been on the rise, with thousands of smaller carriers revoking their operating authority since December. The crisis facing the trucking industry now appears to be more severe than the 2019 slowdown known as the trucking bloodbath. Numerous shutdowns and carrier wind-downs have been reported, indicating bleak conditions. One example is Freightworks Transportation, a North Carolina truckload carrier that announced its shutdown after a major shipper transferred its freight to another carrier. This event set off a chain reaction, leading to the wind-down of operations. Over 15,000 small business truckers who entered the market at its peak 
have already gone out of business in his region this year. The president of J.B. Hunt, one of the largest trucking companies in the U.S., described the current market as the poorest in 15 years. Furthermore, manufacturing orders have seen a 40% decrease, spelling bad news for the industry. If volumes continue to decline, which is likely for the rest of the year, the entire trucking industry is at risk of experiencing an unprecedented wave of bankruptcies. The health of the freight market relies on the delicate balance between supply and demand, but when demand diminishes, the entire ecosystem suffers. Retailers are also bearing the brunt of this crisis. Major companies like Target have witnessed a 90% drop in profits in a single quarter. Within a few months, consumer interest and purchasing power waned, leading to an excess of inventory. As a result, many retail businesses cancelled billions of dollars in orders and reduced prices. Truckers and carriers are now traversing a similar arduous path, facing cancelled bookings and witnessing a once hot market turn frigid. Executives at Freightwaves argue that the very policies implemented to curb consumer inflation may be exacerbating supply-side stress. They emphasize that trucking is a capital-intensive industry with one of the lowest returns on capital worldwide. While new trucking companies often finance their working capital and trucks, tighter borrowing conditions and rising interest rates contribute to their demise. The trucking industry is grappling with a multitude of challenges, including bankruptcies, reduced demand, cancelled bookings, and declining profitability. It is imperative to address these issues and seek sustainable solutions to support the industry and its workforce. U.S. consumers are grappling with financial pressures from various sources, including higher mortgages, rising rents, auto loans, and the increasing cost of basic necessities. These factors are eating into people's budgets, leaving them with limited discretionary income for other goods. The burden of students loan debt, coupled with inflation, has become overwhelming for millions of individuals. The recent expiration of the student loan moratorium means that around 47 million Americans aged 18 to 44 are estimated to lose $393 in discretionary spending this year. The reduction in consumer spending will have a continued impact not only in 2023 but also in 2024 and beyond. As the demand for trucking declines, diesel prices have also dropped. Currently, the average cost of a gallon of diesel is $3.77, down from a record high of $5.82 in June of last year, as reported by the American Automobile Association, or the AAA. In conclusion, the trucking industry is issuing a critical warning about a looming freight market collapse. The current state of affairs is dire, with plummeting cargo volumes, falling freight rates, and a surplus of trucking capacity, this perfect storm has already led to bankruptcies and shutdowns of small businesses and carriers, with serious implications for the entire economy. Stay informed and prepared as we navigate this challenging time. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the freight market and its impact. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and let's stay vigilant in the face of this serious freight market collapse.